Hey guys, welcome to an activity that you see all over China and it's called square dancing and it happens in parks and public spaces all over China. Here we are in a park in uh, Beijing and you're looking at square dancing Chinese style. In recent years, the government has tried to regulate it because people complain about the noise, the loud music, and so on. Oh, what park is this? I walked into a park, I didn't notice the name. Hey, friends, how are you? This is square dancing in China. Hello, Holland. Next stop is home. <laughs> I'm going home. I've been out all day, all weekend. I just might join him if I get someone to hold the camera. <laughs> I'm from the United States, from New York. Home is New York City in the USA. This happens in this park every single day. <laughs> I'm in Beijing, in the capital. And that's square dancing. I think they're going to do another one. I'll give you just a pan of the park. And I'll come back to the dancers. It's a big park here in Chaoyang District where the men come to play board games over there. Traditional Chinese board game that looks somewhat like chess. And um, it's just kind of a neighborhood here, neighborhood park. Yes, I feel safe in China, definitely. I feel safer than in most countries. There is such a thing as a language barrier, but there are ways to overcome that barrier. Smiling for once. People are super friendly. I just came in this park and nobody's bothering me. Look <laughs> at the cute little girl. <laughs> That's right, the men are over there playing board games. There's a man right here dancing, but usually two men dancing with the women, but it's usually just the women. A lot of these folks are retirees, and they come in the park, and this is an activity they do um, all day, come in and dance. They're retired, and this is how they stay in shape. And this is happening right now in parks across uh, China and squares and that's why they call it square dancing. I live here now, I'm a journalist and I'm working with the um, you're welcome. I'm working with, uh, and thank you guys for the hearts, the people who give me the hearts, I uh, appreciate it. Um, I'm working here as a journalist, uh, uh, what they call a foreign expert with the local English language newspaper. And so I'm in Beijing six months now. I'll be here another six months. I see my contract ends and then we'll see what happens from there.
If you just join me, you're looking at uh, traditional uh, Chinese uh, square dancing. And it's an activity that's done mostly by elderly, older people. Young people don't tend to take part in this. Thank you. Thanks for joining. It's a beautiful day here in Beijing. Today it's summer, even though the calendar says it's still spring, but it's very hot. I cannot speak Chinese. I'm taking uh, Chinese lessons. So I have a Chinese tutor. I suggest if you come to China, you try to learn at least survival Chinese so you can get around. Ni hao, ni hao, ni hao ma. Anyway, there you have it guys, uh, some Chinese square dancing. Uh, it's kind of warm today, so um, usually there's a lot more people out here dancing. Yes, you do a lot of pointing, a lot of gesturing, a lot of pointing to get your message across. That's right, to get past the language barrier, it's easier in person than over the phone, obviously. I don't speak the Chinese language. So, I do a lot of pointing, smiling, gesturing, and it gets the message across. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, you just have to be creative. Think about it, and you can get your message across, your point across. They would let me join, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I bet if I went over there, that's how friendly they are. If I went over there and asked one of these women to uh, show me, they would more than be willing to do it. But then I wouldn't be able to, I'd have to get someone to film it and, and trying to explain Periscope <laughs> to people. <laughs> I'm gonna bring a friend out here uh, one of these days and I'll get him to film. And you'll see me dancing, uh, doing some square dancing. It sounds like there's a request for that. <laughs> China, as you know, has thousands and thousands of years of history. So it is interesting. Yeah. Awesome, isn't it? It's pretty cool.
that's Chinese square dancing. I'm gonna call it a wrap here uh, today. And uh, thanks for all who, uh, who joined me. I'm gonna head on home now. I appreciate it. And coming to you from China in Beijing, the capital, this is Mike. Thanks again, guys. Bye. Thank you very much for the hearts, people. Thank you. Bye-bye.